When Lomography introduced Lomochrome Metropolis, I saw some of the sample pictures, and I thought a few of these had that bleach bypass look to it. Now I had two immediate thoughts. The first one is I should totally bleach bypass Lomochrome Metropolis. I mean, what would happen if you bleach bypass a film that already looks like it's been bleach bypassed? And two, I'm surprised I haven't tried this before. I mean, it kind of checks off all the boxes for me. It's a weird development thing, and it removes a step from development. Now, if you shot any Lomochrome before, you know that this is what the negatives look like. They are a little off and a little sickly. Did you know that if you bleach bypass it, it looks significantly worse. In comparison, the negatives are dense. You know, it's night and day. And when I looked at the negatives at first, I thought it was gonna look bad. You know, honestly, after I scanned it, it looks all right. It looks like bleach bypass. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of experience with it, but it looks all right to me. It's desaturated, it's contrasty, it's grainy. It's kind of what I expect it to look like. And for those unfamiliar, bleach bypass is when you are developing C41 and you skip the bleach step. Bleach is responsible for washing away the silver, so by skipping the bleach, you're effectively left with a black and white image along with the color image. I also had a roll of Lomochrome Purple that I shot and I didn't want to develop it straight up and since we're bleached bypassing Metropolis I just thought I might as well throw it in there. And I would like to preemptively apologize. I only took one normal picture on this roll and the rest of it was just out of focus pictures of cats and I don't know how much the internet hates pictures of cats. I like how these pictures turned out. It's really cool to see the increased contrast with the color shifts that Lomochrome Purple is known for. I should have been happy with these results. I should have just gone on with the rest of my day, but no. Like our old friend Icarus, I just had to go a little bit further and I had to push my luck and I decided to bleach bypass some slide film. And I know that some of you out there right now are saying, no, you idiot, that's not gonna work. And to those people out there, I want you to look at this and answer this question. Where were you a week ago and why didn't you stop me? What I found out after the fact is that the E6 process is different from the C41 process and the bleach bypass process behaves much differently between the two. Instead of leaving a black and white image behind the color dyes like C41, in E6 it just leaves a thick layer of silver behind the color dye which leaves a near opaque positive. And I say positive because there actually is a positive image somewhere under this mess. I know I could probably re-bleach these strips and salvage some of it, and I intend on trying to do that with a different roll, but I plan on keeping this roll looking like this as a reminder that I should not bleach bypass E6 film. Well, that's the end of the video. Kind of ended it on a bummer. So here's a picture of a cat. <laughs>